Pontoon Houseboat Scratch Mill. Now, uh, in this series, we're going to be doing the model of the houseboat. This is both so that you can see how the uh, build is going to progress when I actually do the build, and so you so you can see what it's going to basically look like in reference to some of the stuff that I could not do on the 3D models. And also, it is so that I know where everything is going to go before I start this build so I don't waste time, material, or anything else like that. Now that we... Yes, yes, there we go. Okay, uh, these are my half inch, my one half inch pieces. These are going to represent the pontoons during the build. And I... Ended up with four of them, even though I only need three for this build. Now, the scale of this is basically one sixteenth of an inch for every inch. Now, for this to represent 40 feet of pontoon, I need to cut these down to 30 inches. Because this is going to be my measuring stick, we're going to end up marking this about one quarter of an inch because that's going to, to represent four inches. All the beams and everything are going to be 16 inches on center. So technically we're going to have four, eight, 12, and 16. Like I said, we need to cut these down to 30 inches. Some of these are going to represent 2x4 aluminum tubings, and some of these will actually represent the 2x4 steel beams. I'll let you know during the build what parts are being represented or what. This whole first section, this is all going to be 2x4 aluminum beams. Because the width of this is, is 20 feet, which is going to end up being 15 inches on this by scale. So these have to be cut down to 14 and 3 quarter inches. So let me cut, cut some of these down to that. Now, here's my 14 3 quarter inch mark. Now, I'm going to need 30 of these.
These are all cross members to hold the pontoons together and act as the main flooring brace. So now we have to mark this where each of them are going to go. The first one is going to be, so basically the edge of the first one is going to be right here. Now, because these are going to have to be 16 inches on center, and the first, we're going to end up with a cheek coming, a plywood cheek coming all the way to the back. So we got to go 16 inches from here. So we got four, eight, 16. That would be the center for the 16. Now we're going to do that again. I'm sorry that uh, my recording stopped. I was in the middle of this, but that's okay. We got just through. We got this finished, and I just cut down two pieces that are going to go down along the side of this. Not because I didn't get these on perfectly. I'm going to have to sand some down to make it even all the way across. But I just want to show you. How we're gonna what we're gonna do here basically like if you can see this here this is gonna come on here but the, the top edge is gonna be even with this floor so it's gonna drop down some later I will show you you'll see why we're doing we're, we're putting this in this is actually gonna be a bumper card in case uh, of hitting the dock
next video will be of the second tier that's going on top of this. Uh, I'll explain that when we do that video. Until then, everybody have a great day. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Oh, and please remember to subscribe and check out the Patreon.